Okay, hello everyone. Today we are going to have another talk with a student of mine from Northern North Cyprus. Now he is a good academic. I'm proud to see my students becoming good scholars. So Dr. Barzan Javhar Sadek, he is now teaching at Salahaddin University in uh, Iraq uh, at Erbil. He, he was my student in Cyprus, then he had his MA and finished his PhD. Now he's a, a good scholar. Uh, Barzan, hi, good evening. Hi. Thank you, uh, So Barzan, we have limited time, you know, 30-40 uh, minutes. I know you work uh, you are very busy. I'm also very busy with the baby and new academic articles and books. So uh, let me start. We didn't hear uh, so much in the Turkish media about recently about Iraq and Kurdistan regional government. Uh, you are an Iraqi citizen living in the Kurdistan regional government teaching there. So during this uh, COVID-19 or coronavirus uh, pandemic, what were the precautions, measures taken by the Iraqi central government and Kurdistan regional government. How's the situation? Are people are safe in uh, Erbil and around in Baghdad, for instance? And uh, is the economy getting normal? How's the normalization of life? Uh, uh, unfortunately, uh, COVID-19 uh, COVID uh, now it's affected on uh, and it may a problem in every country, not only in Kurdistan region and uh, Iraq and Turkey. Uh, but uh, do you know uh, now we are uh, we are in the uh, bad situation because uh, a new season, fall season came, uh, and we are waiting to the second wave of uh, coronavirus. Uh, and due to coronavirus, uh, uh, do you know uh, we cannot uh, start uh, university, school, and uh, other sectors, education sectors. Uh, and uh, uh, do you know there is a a uh, good um, um, relation uh, between uh, Baghdad and Arbil for coronavirus and with the WH2 uh, for coronavirus. But uh, unfortunately, uh, because uh, there is no uh, a cure and, and there is no a new vaccine for, for, for stop coronavirus, uh, that's why uh, we cannot, uh, do you know, stop this uh, virus. And again, we started uh, in every sector in Kurdistan region and Iraq. Okay, thank you, uh, Barzan. We wish you the best. Good luck to Iraqi government and Kurdistan regional government. It's a humanitarian issue, so we, all governments and states should act together to help people. Hopefully, there will be a vaccine soon. In Russia, there is already a vaccine, uh, but it is not maybe approved by the uh, World Health Organization. So probably there will be an approved vaccine soon, and the whole all countries, whole world will be safer hopefully by next year. So uh, Barzan, before getting into Turkey, KRG relations, Iraq relations, uh, two recent visits were on Turkish media. So I want to take your opinion on this because you are a good young and good scholar working on these matters. The first one was President Nechivan Barzani's visit to Ankara. It was sudden, unexpected. Uh, but we know that he has good connections and ties with Turkish government. So the first, my first question is about his visit. And second question, I want short answers for these questions. Uh, French President Emmanuel Macron visited Iraq recently. And he had also uh, uh, meetings with, I think, uh, Kurdish officials. So these two visits, how it was covered in the uh, Iraqi media, Kurdish media, I, I want to take your opinion on this. Uh, do you know, Hocam, there is a connection between these two visitors? Uh, mm -hmm. For example, uh, uh, Macron uh, came to um, visit to uh, Arbil and Baghdad, uh, and uh, do you know visiting Nechirvan Barzani directly after one day uh, to, to, to Ankara? Uh, as you know, uh, the, uh, as a uh, professor of international relations, you know that there is uh, some new uh, do you know, political change and economic change uh, in the region. Uh, uh, as uh, a new plan of uh, new Levant, new Levant or new Sham uh, plan between uh, Egypt, Iraq, uh, and Jordan, and uh, do you know a new agreement between Bahrain, uh, 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 Arab uh, Emirates with Israel and uh, uh, Arab uh, Israel, uh, um, you know peace uh, agreement is this new uh, political changes uh, affected on the directly on the Kurdistan region, and I believe that. Uh, this new uh, activity, international activity in the Middle East, uh, 
uh, I think direct, directly affected on the Iran firstly and secondly on the uh, Turkey because uh, they want to stop Iran to enter uh, to the uh, Iraqi state and other uh, states that they have uh, uh, Shia people uh, and secondly uh, they want to stop uh, Turkey uh, fr from uh, Libya, from Syria, from other where. Uh, and I believe that uh, because of this tension between Erdogan and Macron, that's why Macron tried to uh, uh, to make a new plan and a uh, new, new game against uh, Turkey. That's why they want to uh, use the Kurdistan region, uh, region uh, against, for example, uh, Turkey on uh, you know, other countries uh, against uh, Turkey. Uh, but Kurdistan region uh, now, uh, you know, try to making a balance between all these uh, new nations, between uh, Sunni, Shi'i, between Western country to Eastern country, between Turkey with uh, other uh, Sunni, uh, you know, uh, Gulf uh, status. Uh, that's why directly uh, uh, Erdogan and Saush Oglo invited Nechirvan Barzani uh, to, to Turkey because, after, as you know, after referendum 2017, the relationship between Kurdistan region and Turkey uh, is become cold between them and stop it. Only uh, it uh, reduce, uh, uh, you know, in the uh, economic sector. Uh, because uh, this, uh, before a referendum, uh, I called this, uh, uh, you know, this uh, period of relation between Turkey and Kurdistan region uh, as the uh, golden period between uh, these two countries. But after a referendum, uh, political uh, relations, uh, you know, stopped and uh, called uh, because uh, Nechirvan Barzani and Daud Oglo uh, were a designer of these relations. And uh, after uh, resign of uh, Daud Oglo from Turkey, uh, and uh, now the case of uh, um, between uh, Kurdistan region and Turkey is uh, the hand uh, behind on the Charles uh, Oglo and Erdogan, uh, and they want to be, uh, do you know, renew a, a political relation with Kurdistan region because uh, we have many uh, um, economic, political, culture, history, geographical, security, uh, do you know, uh, interests together. And uh, I believe that uh, there is uh, some cases to talking about, for example, Northern Syria, uh, Pakaka case, a new Levant case, economic case, uh, and this new change, uh, new, uh, do you know, uh, variable change in, in, in the region. Uh, and uh, 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 in my opinion, uh, Hojam, uh, there was a success, uh, uh, do you know, uh, visiting, because after, directly after, come back Nechirvan Barzani from Ankara, uh, Turkish, uh, you know, air strike attack uh, to Kurdistan region stopped. Uh, do you know? And uh, I believe that uh, maybe they try to make uh, to to find a new uh, peace uh, agreement between uh, uh, Kandil, uh, Ankara, Imrali to uh, with Arbil. Uh, again, uh, look like other uh, last uh, do you know last agreement between 2012 to 2005 that uh, uh, there wasn't uh, do you know uh, killing uh, one gendarme or one guerrilla in this agreement. That's why they try to making, uh, I think, peace uh, agreement between these two uh, countries. Okay, Varzan, thank you. Uh, so we'll get into historical ties between Turkey and Kurds, Kurd Iraqi Kurds especially, because uh, you are living in Kurdistan regional government, a federal part of Iraqi state, and Iraqi Kurds and uh, Turkey has long history. We'll come to this. But before that, uh, since it's a hot topic, I want to take your again opinion on what was what went wrong during the independence referendum in 2017. Obviously, Turkey and Iran reacted, except Israel. None of the countries, even United States, France, none of the European countries, United Kingdom, Germany, supported Kurds. Uh, I remember U.S. Secretary, then U.S. Secretary of uh, Defense, uh, James Mattis, for instance, Jim Mattis said. It's not a good time to make the referendum, delay it, because the, there is ISIS, there are other problems. So uh, what do you think about this referendum process? Because it led to uh, Mesut Barzani to resign. Then, then Nechirvan Barzani came. Uh, and uh, of course, the loss of Mosul maybe uh, could be uh, interpreted in that way. Uh, so uh, of course, Iraq, by the way, Kurdistan regional government never declared independence. They just never declared independence. They just organized the referendum to show the people's support uh, to independence, but they never declared 
unilaterally declare their independence. So uh, yes. referendum process and relations with central government. If you could summarize this to us in five, ten minutes, then we'll pass to maybe history and other political issues. Uh, Hojam, do you know uh, we are as academics uh, now, uh, we know that uh, referendum is the democratic mechanism. Uh, even only for, for, one, uh, for Creed One Road from Switzerland, they do referendum. Referendum is, uh, is simple, it's uh, normal, you know, it's uh, democratic uh, and uh, uh, humanity uh, right. Uh, it's normal, but this referendum uh, was rejected uh, to this, uh, you know, wrong policy policy by Iraqi government that after 100 years, uh, uh, again, they uh, cut budget, uh, again, is Kurdistan region, uh, and they tried to uh, occupy some Kurdish landes from uh, Kurdistan region, and they didn't uh, send, you know, Kurdish uh, uh, budget, and uh, they don't give uh, Kurdish right for Kurdistan region, and they don't even they 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 do um, you know they don't accept federalism that uh, it, it fixed on the uh, Iraqi institution uh, constitution. Uh, that's why uh, do you know uh, we, we do referendum and uh, by referendum, uh, as you know, over uh, ninety three percent of people uh, uh, voted uh, yes for uh, independence for this country, uh, but unfortunately. Uh, European countries again, uh, you know, uh, they they uh, practice a double standard policy against the Kurdistan region. Uh, at the uh, firstly, they uh, supported a referendum for for their country and for some country other where in in Asia, in Africa, for example, they supported South, uh, South Sudan referendum. They supported Kosovo referendum, but they didn't support a Kurdistan region referendum. They didn't support, uh, you know, Catalonia uh, referendum, but they accepted. Uh, Scotland uh, referendum. That's why the, the, I think uh, there is a uh, you know double standard policy from this country. Uh, but uh, Hojam, as uh, uh, one is uh, Ishik Sal uh, uh, told me, uh, if if Kurdistan region created a new status, why it is problem for 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 Turkey and for other where? Because um, as uh, Ishik Sal mentioned that uh, if Kurdistan region created a new state. Uh, it's on the land of Iraq. It's, it doesn't uh, relate it to, to Syria, to Turkey, uh, and Iran. Uh, and at the first, uh, first of the process, uh, I believe that Turkey uh, supported Kurdistan region, uh, politically, economically, and in, in every sector. But after uh, uh, um, um, army commander of Iran visited uh, Turkey, uh, he changed it. Uh, do you know, uh, Iran, I think, changed it uh, Turkish. Uh, perspective about the uh, referendum and independence of uh, Kurdistan region. Uh, and uh, now, uh, you know, as I told you, uh, Kurdistan region uh, doesn't want to declare a new state. It is just a referendum and just, uh, you know, getting a, a Kurdish opinion, opinion about uh, to stay at Iraq or uh, divorce or, or, or uh, separate from uh, uh, Iraq. Uh, because Hojam, do you know, uh, in reality, Hojam, if you read uh, this case, believe me, uh, let's together uh, search about Kurdistan region and Iraq. Uh, after 2000 and after 1991, uh, uh, still uh, there are two states in one state. Do you know, we haven't any problem uh, with, with, uh, with Baghdad. And uh, do you know, uh, if from 2014, when Daesh uh, ISIL, ISIL came to Iraq, uh, till uh, 2017, believe me, uh, there there weren't any 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 mechanism and any factor uh, connected uh, Baghdad to to Arbil. It means in reality, do you know, uh, the, the, now there are two states in one state. Do you know, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, they will be never linked, Hojam. After a Sivar Treaty from 1921. Uh, uh, do you know, uh, 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 at the time of collapse of Uthman Empire, they linked Kurdistan region to Iraq. Uh, still, Hojam. Uh, you can read history, still they couldn't, uh, do you know, make stability, stability in Iraq and in Kurdistan region, because uh, there are, uh, do you know, two different nations, and Arab nation uh, never accepted Kurdish nation, and they cannot uh, even look like Turkey, they cannot uh, uh, living together. Now, uh, now uh, one, one, one Turkish uh, citizen or Kurdish citizen from uh, Ahmad, 
and from uh, do you know uh, from uh, Ghazi Antar from Istanbul uh, there are there aren't different between them but in Kurdistan region because uh, uh, Iraqi government uh, do you know account Kurd Kurdish people as the second citizenship of Iraq that's why these people uh, do you know cannot accept this policy that's why they 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 they, they don't want to living with this uh, do you know uh, mentality of Arab uh, from from uh, from Iraq Okay, I understand your point. Uh, you are right to say that, my opinion, of course. Uh, dem uh, referendums are democratic mechanism. You are right. In democracies like in Switzerland, you can they can organize referendums uh, uh, more even frequently on s uh, much smaller issues. But uh, there is also in international law, according to United Nations system, also territorial integrity of the states. And generally, it is accepted. So when there will be a new, new state, generally it's uh, with the general consensus of other states, especially Security Council states, uh, the, the necessary conditions are created. And in the case of Kurdish referendum, I think only Israel openly supported it. That's why maybe uh, it uh, didn't turn out to be a real independence. But th th did it change the relationship between Erbil and Baghdad, because you say that, uh, of course, this is your point of view, we can talk with Iraqi academics as well. Uh, so uh, you say that Kurds, uh, there are two different nations in Iraq, living in Iraq, and the relationship with Baghdad and Erbil is not good because Kurdish sovereign rights are not uh, respected you, you mean. But after the referendum, was it getting better? I mean, in terms of especially the oil revenue is an important issue for all countries, but especially for Iraq and Kurdistan regional government. So how did it change since 2017 until now? What happened in the last three years? Uh, as you know, directly after the referendum, uh, uh, Iraqi uh, government and Iraqi force, uh, by taking advantage of support of uh, Turkey, in one side, especially in the uh, security side, because uh, Hakan Fidan came to, to, to Kirkuk at that time. And uh, do you know, uh, military action uh, Iran supported because uh, pa uh, Pazdar, uh, Iran's Pazdar uh, participated in the uh, attack of the Kirkuk and they uh, directly uh, they occupied uh, Kirkuk and they tried to came to Arbil, but uh, because of the defense of uh, Peshmerga from the, to, to uh, uh, Arbil, uh, now the situation is will be uh, getting good because uh, after U.S. and France came to uh, to to uh, between these two uh, uh, different forces uh, in Iraq, uh, now they they are looking to for uh, find uh, a new solution. For example, now uh, Iraq Iraqi government uh, is busy to uh, create a new budget, uh, 2021. Uh, that's why they invited uh, Kurdish uh, uh, officials uh, to to going to Baghdad um, uh, to discussing about the new uh, Iraqi uh, budget for next year. Uh, and uh, I believe that after uh, Adel Abdul Mahdi uh, became uh, Prime Minister of Iraq, and uh, after Abdul Mahdi now, uh, as you know, uh, Kazmi is Prime Minister of Iraq, yes. and now the, the relationship uh, between Arbil and Baghdad uh, is very good. Uh, but believe me, Hojam, uh, they, they, they are not uh, trust each other. That's mm -hmm. why uh, they don't uh, agreement uh, about uh, oil. Do you know after 2007, uh, one 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 uh, law project passed from uh, Kurdistan Parliament. Uh, it uh, do you know uh, it get a uh, it gets a right for Kurdistan government to uh, sell its oil. Uh, based on the Iraqi constitution, but Iraq um, uh, uh, still uh, doesn't, uh, do you know, accept this agreement is that signed by Kurdistan region. Uh, but because, uh, on the other hand, because uh, as I mentioned before, the, because Turkey supported Kurdistan region economically, uh, uh, and uh, there is a, a 50 years agreement about energy relation between Turkey and Kurdistan region. That's why Kurdistan region uh, still is continuous to uh, send its oil to uh, Jihan uh, entrance from Turkey. Uh, and uh, you know about that led Kurdistan region to deal with the, uh, its energy with uh, Turkey and they neglected this uh, sector now. Okay, let's move on to relations with Turkey, Barzan. That's the, our main topic, of course. Kurds were, uh, uh, you know, main one of the main nations within the Ottoman Empire as well. Uh, Turks and Turks had very good relations in the past centuries. Now also, 
uh, except of course with terrorist groups, Turkey and Kurds in Turkey, elsewhere we have very good relations. Uh, in Cyprus, in Turkey, we have Kurdish students, both Tur Kurdish originated Turkish citizen students plus Kurds coming from other countries, Iran, Iraq, uh, Syria. So uh, how can you categorize, especially the uh, last uh, decades, but if you look at history, how we can categorize relations between Turkey and Iraqi Kurds? Uh, Hocam, uh, because we are a professor of international uh, relations, as we know, we have many international relations theory uh, that we can read it. Uh, this period is uh, uh, between uh, this relation. Uh, for example, uh, as you know, uh, for 600 years, uh, Kurdish was one of uh, these nations that are ruled by Usman Empire. Uh, that's why we have many commonly in political, in culture, in the you know, model, in uh, language, in style, in life, every sectors of life. That's why this relation is not surprise. Uh, it's easy to uh, make a relation between two nations that they have a good background. Uh, and uh, we can read this relation by system theory because Usman Empire had, uh, do you know, one system for all, every nation. So there, there wasn't difference between Turkish nation, Arab nation, and West Kurdish nation. But do you know, after uh, uh, collapse of Uthman, Uthman Empire from uh, 1923, uh, 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 do you know, uh, as I uh, stated before, that Kurdistan region linked uh, as uh, Wilayat of Mosul linked to, to Iraq. Uh, they separated Kurdistan region from the uh, Turkish uh, part. Uh, that's why uh, the Turkish Republic and Iraqi Republic together uh, were stunned uh, against Kur Kurdish uh, people uh, until 1991 Kurdish uprising. Hojam, at that time, we can read this uh, period uh, by, by, uh, based on the realism theory because they just uh, yeah, try to game uh, loss loss game uh, if, uh, for, uh, against uh, Azar. But uh, f after 1991, Hojam, because of the uh, support uh, of the uh, ex president of uh, Turkey, uh, Target Ozal, uh, the relation changed between Turkey with one political party. Turkey supported of only uh, Kurdistan Democratic Party, Barzani's party, KDP. Uh, because there wasn't a balance between this uh, civil war, uh, you know, fighting between uh, KDP and PUK uh, from Kurdistan region. Iran supported Taliban's party and Turkey supported uh, Barzani's party. Uh, this, uh, you know, relation uh, continued until 2013. For after 2013, uh, Turkey uh, tried to, uh, you know, attack Kurdistan region because uh, PKK's uh, activity started on the border. But after 2008 to 2007, I, do you know, I called this period as the golden period because, you know, at that time, uh, President Erdogan visited Arbil and opened uh, 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 general consulate of uh, Turkey uh, and uh, Turkish government uh, sent one billion dollars to support Kurdistan region just to uh, survive from economic, uh, uh, do you know, crisis from Kurdistan region. At the time of maybe nobody know about that uh, Turkey, uh, somebody uh, uh, told that Turkey supported uh, ISIS against Kurdistan region, but uh, vice versa, do you know, at that time, uh, Turkey secretly supported Kurdistan region against, uh, do you know, Daesh at that time. That's why uh, uh, I believe that, uh, Hojam, uh, Throughout this uh, one decade, one, one, uh, it means uh, 10 years, uh, they, may, uh, they made relation based on the liberalism exclusion uh, theory. Because in, real, real, uh, in, 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 in liberalism, as you know, uh, they say that uh, if you have a good economic relation, uh, uh, political uh, relation it will, it will be good. Uh, and uh, in, 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 in liberalism, uh, they let that uh, non-actor status make a relation with actor status. Now, we cannot compare between uh, Turkey and Kurdistan region because Turkey is the uh, strongest state in the Middle East and Turkey is a rich state, but Kurdistan region is not independent state, it's non-actor state. Uh, but this relation continue until 2000 and, uh, you know, uh, 17. Yeah, referendum time. But after the referendum time, now they try to rebuild a new new state. Uh, yes, there, there is some, there are signs of normalization. If I'm not mistaken, I just read a few months ago in Turkish press that now the Kurdistan regional government will open an office at Ankara. Maybe it's not, of course, official yes. embassy or consulate, but 
They will open an uh, office mostly dealing with trade, I think, but also political issues. So, and this uh -huh. Nehirvan's Barzani's visit came, President Barzani. So, uh, Kurdistan regional government and Turkey has, of course, economic investments together. Uh, you will mention them, cultural uh, proximities, a lot of issues. Plus, uh, both sides try to implement democratic regimes. There are parliaments there are presidents and have good relations with Western countries as well, at least in some uh, uh, ways. So uh, when relations with Turkey, and by the way, Turkey didn't attack Kurdistan regional government, Turkey attacked PKK bases in Kandil mountains. That's of course, we have to underline this, not to create a wrong impression. So what do you think about uh, turkey KRG relations in terms of economy, politics, uh, how is Turkey perceived as a friendly country as a, uh, or are there now, uh, because of Turkey's military operation, more uh, kind of conflictual uh, look towards Turkey? Uh, you know, Hocam, uh, there are many uh, um, common interests, uh, politically, economically, uh, between Kurdistan region and Turkey. Kurdistan region uh, for Turkey is important because 60% uh, of uh, Turkish workers in Kurdistan region are Turkish. Uh, over, over 500 big co Turkish companies are working in Kurdistan region. Uh, over, uh, do you know, uh, 4,500 uh, car uh, Turkish cargo are working in Kurdistan region. Uh, do you know after that, uh, the, the, their uh, economic relations uh, uh, rise up to uh, to 12 billion dollars between two countries? I I think after Germany, Turkey, uh, Kurdistan region is the second market of uh, Turkey, and for Kurdistan region again, uh, Turkey is important because it's the f uh, only one uh, secure and closest interest uh, to 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 get uh, to uh, going to uh, develop countries and to to Europe. And it is the very secure uh, interest and door for uh, transport uh, energy. And for Kurdistan region, uh, uh, Turkey is important. Is the uh, you know one of the most uh, um, uh, you know uh, powerful Sunni powerful force in the region. Uh, other uh, three countries that they are neighbor of Kurdistan region: Syria, Iraq, and Iran, controlled by Shia uh, forces. Only Turkey is uh, Sunni forces. That is why. Uh, Kurdistan region and Turkey are important for each other in this uh, uh, this uh, sector, and there are uh, many other uh, political and economic uh, common interests that maybe we have not time to analyze it. Yeah, in terms of, uh, of course, economic, you mentioned I, I've been to Erbil two times. Uh, I, I didn't visit you, but some other Kurdish students helped me there. So most of the hotels were owned by Turkish businessmen, a lot of Turkish people, businessmen were there. So it was, in fact, a good thing for developing relations. In terms of culture also, I know uh, there is interest towards Turkish TV series, Turkish culture, Turkish music. Same. So how would you explain, Barzan, you've been to Cyprus and Turkey, so you know Turkey very well. Uh, how you know, Kurdish, Kurdish people perceive Turkey? Uh, do you know, Hocam, when I visited uh, UK for study, uh, I felt homeless from Turkey, uh, from uh, UK. Uh, but do you know when I uh, visited uh, Cyprus and Istanbul, believe me, uh, I didn't uh, do you know, feel that uh, I'm in another country. Uh, I feel that uh, I'm uh, in my country and uh, do you know, because uh, there are many uh, commonly uh, in culture, in religion, in language, in uh, style and, and everything. And all this uh, commonly, Hojam, as I uh, stated before that, uh, related to the uh, 600 years living under Usman Empire's rule. That's why, uh, uh, Hojam, uh, uh, we have to be uh, rebuilt our relationship. Believe me, if there is no uh, PKK uh, between Kurdistan region and, uh, uh, and uh, uh, Turkey, uh, maybe this region going to uh, uh, do you know connection and integrated look like uh, EU countries. And they tried, uh, they tried because uh, do you know Nechirvan Barzani, uh, why I, I, I said that Nechirvan Barzani is designer of this relation? Because uh, he, he, he found uh, the, the, the main uh, problem and obstacles in front of the uh, peace process between Turkey and Kurdistan region. It was, uh, do you know, Pakaka. When uh, they making relation between Kandil, Ankara, Arbil and Imrali together, uh, they could, uh, do you know, uh, 
uh, going to the uh, good relation between this uh, uh, the two country. Uh, but uh, Hojam, um, do you know maybe PKK is not alone? Uh, maybe some countries supported PKK because uh, do you know it's not right that uh, after 2005 uh, Turkey uh, started war against PKK because uh, this, this group that uh, tried to kill two Turkish officers from the police office uh, from uh, I think it's in Izmir I think uh, if I'm not wrong um, this war uh, do you know started uh, that's why now just PKK is a big problem between these two countries if they solve this problem uh, I'm sure that uh, they can rebuild again uh, uh, a new and strong relation together. And looking from Erbil uh, Barzan, for instance, Kurdish people probably they uh, watch Turkish politics also closely. Uh, which politicians they have support? Because we have Kurdish politicians as well. Selahattin Demirtaş, he is the leader of a, a pro-Kurdish party in Turkey, and he was running for presidency once. Now he's in prison, but he's still making uh, declarations and he is well known uh, in Turkey, a lot of supporters here. So uh, what do you think, which politicians, uh, the government President Erdogan is, has its own fans because I've been there, I know. Uh, what do you think about this? Uh, sorry, can you uh, just interpret your voice? Can you repeat it, your last yes, I mean, in terms of uh, Kurdistan regional government's outlook to Turkey, in terms of politicians, are they any favored politicians? Erdogan, Gül, I don't know, Davutoğlu, Kılıçdaroğlu, Demirtaş. Which politicians Kurdish people of Iraq support mostly from Turkey? Uh, of course, uh, uh, if we uh, uh, do you know uh, added uh, or classified uh, in priority, Nechirvan Barzani is a tube of these politicians that uh, uh, he works uh, all uh, uh, based on the uh, do you know uh, liberalism's uh, assumption that uh, if you have a good uh, economy, maybe uh, uh, our uh, relationship in the other sectors uh, will be good. Uh, and after. Uh, all, all officials, uh, you know, in Kurdistan region, uh, in, 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 in now, uh, especially in the uh, KDP party. Uh, and uh, now uh, PUK, uh, uh, do you know, change it, it is uh, policy against, uh, do you know, Turkey. Because after referendum, when uh, uh, Turkey, uh, do you know, uh, didn't accept it, uh, do you know, transit uh, from uh, Slemania airport to uh, Istanbul and to other European countries, uh, do you know PUK? I think after that time when the Turkish consulate visited uh, PUK and uh, now the relationship uh, between uh, PKK and PUK is not look like before uh, referendum. Uh, even uh, uh, Chaos Oglo uh, mentioned, uh, as you know, uh, last week, uh, he said that uh, PKK controlled Slemania and tried to uh, control Arbil. Uh, but, uh, uh, you know, uh, I believe that uh, the situation uh, in Slemania uh, changed and uh, now uh, they argued that uh, maybe PKK is just uh, making a problem to Kurdistan region and uh, PKK just uh, using Kurdistan region as a court uh, to, to making a conflict and fighting with uh, Turkey and they just, uh, you know, making problem for Kurdish people. Do you know, uh, Hojam, uh, now... Uh, over 500 Kurdish village, they input it because of the Pakakas war on the border. Do you know Kurdish farmer from this 500 villages, they cannot farming in their villages. People cannot visiting uh, Kandil to uh, tourism. Uh, do you know that's why uh, uh, Pakaka made a problem to, to, to Kurdistan region uh, and uh, but uh, uh, as I told you, uh, some Islamic other parties uh, look like uh, uh, Islamic Union Party. Uh, again, uh, uh, because it's uh, uh, Ikhwani's uh, brothers, bro brotherhood uh, uh, party. It's closer to ideology, Islamic ideologically closer to uh, AK parties. Uh, that's why uh, I think uh, if we classified KDP officials and uh, secondly. Uh, Islamic Union of Kurdistan uh, region and uh, some small uh, political parties uh, supported to uh, Turkish policy in the region. Okay, thank you. In terms of higher education, Turkey is developing rapidly in terms of higher education. We have new universities everywhere. 
there is a growing in education industry and Turkey is trying to become a regional power by inviting all uh, students and scholars from the uh, neighboring regions and countries. So uh, Turkey wants to help also to develop a uh, higher education yes. industry in other countries. So what are the situation of, you, you are working for a state university now in Erbil, but there are also a lot of private universities. There are American universities, I know. So how's the uh, university uh, industry in uh, Iraq and Kurdistan regional government particularly? Uh, uh, do you know after developing or Kurdistan region uh, uh, now there are many uh, private and uh, official uh, universities in Kurdistan region uh, some of them are the Turkish universities and some Turkish schools mm -hmm. uh, from Kurdistan region and American universities and schools Kurdistan region UK universities and uh, do you know uh, uh, schools uh, are working in Kurdistan region Cambridge Oxford and uh, uh, other uh, branches of this uh, countries they are working and uh, some some of them they just have a connection to, to together with the uh, uh, you know uh, Kurdistan uh, universities but uh, for Turkish uh, uh, schools now uh, do you know uh, in the last uh, five, uh, four years after uh, Turkish uh, data uh, there was a problem in Kurdistan region because uh, some uh, Hizmat uh, movement uh, schools uh, uh, working uh, in Kurdistan region uh, that's why uh, there are two different types of Turkish uh, schools in Kurdistan region. Uh, one supported by AK Party's uh, uh, government and others, uh, they, uh, you know, uh, supported by Hizmat. Uh, but mm -hmm. uh, Hizmat uh, teachers, uh, they left Kurdistan region uh, because of uh, Turkish uh, uh, pressure on the Kurdistan region that they uh, have to be uh, lift Kurdistan region uh, and uh, that's why uh, now and we have uh, some uh, you know uh, scholarship is uh, directly uh, Kurdish people they say uh, it is uh, President Erdogan's scholarship for student as uh, in this scholarship uh, they came to uh, Turkey uh, and uh, they are a full scholarship uh, by dormitory uh, and by uh, tuition fee of university, by visiting, by uh, stay, uh, eating, and uh, monthly salary for Kurdish people. Uh, and uh, I believe that uh, before a referendum, uh, uh, you know, education uh, student uh, was very good. Uh, and many Kurdish people uh, visited Turkey and uh, Turkish scholars and teachers uh, came to Arbil. Uh, I remember that uh, from Lebanese French University, uh, I worked with the uh, assistant prof uh, from Turkey. Uh, she came to Lebanon's French universities, uh, a private university. He's working uh, in, in this university uh, at the Kurdish uh, lectures. But after referendum, Hojam, uh, Turkish uh, officials, and uh, especially from the airport, they uh, stand, uh, you know, Kurdish uh, people, and they check their mobile if they found a Kurdish uh, flag and uh, Kurdish uh, officials, uh, they made problem for Kurdish students. That's why, uh, and uh, that, that was one factor. And second factor related uh, to economic crisis. Because of economic crisis, they couldn't uh, came to the Cyprus and uh, North Cyprus and uh, Turkish uh, universities for uh, study. But I believe that now they, again, they uh, started uh, economic, uh, sorry, uh, education relation together. And lastly, Barzan, of course, we can talk, but it's for a talk. Uh, I mean, we need, we have limited time. We can talk for hours. Of course, politics won't end. But in terms of developing relations, what could be your uh, suggestions to Turkey? I mean, in order to, we want KRG, we want good relations with all our neighbors. But sometimes because of conditions, it doesn't happen. We don't blame Turkish government because they also want to build good relations with Greece, they tried with even Armenia, which is Turkey's, which Turkey has historical problems. So we want to have good relations with everyone, but sometimes it doesn't happen. So with, in order to develop Turkey's relations with Kurdistan regional government and Iraq, what could the Turkish government could do? What are your suggestions? Uh, Hojam, uh, do you know uh, after even even at the time of referendum? Believe me, because uh, I uh, do you know I worked on the Turkish and uh, uh, Turkey and Kurdistan region uh, relationship. Uh, I I told uh, Kurdistan officials that uh, I am a hundred percent sure that 
Turkey government uh, doesn't uh, close the door, fish harbor door. Do you know? Uh, and uh, do you know? Uh, my my expectation was uh, right because uh, um, Kurdish uh, Turkey government uh, didn't uh, close uh, its door. Uh, even Iran uh, closed it. Uh, border against Kurdistan region. Uh, uh, this uh, this uh, political, uh, do you know, uh, act was related to. Sorry, uh, uh, uh -huh. sorry, uh, no uh, uh, it's related to the uh, do you know trust. They build trust together between Kurdistan region and uh, uh, and Turkey. Uh, I I uh, I would like uh, they uh, do you know again back to 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 this uh, relation. Hojam, if it is uh, not uh, possible, we can we can finish because okay. Like, if just take, let's finish your sentence, then we'll end up it anyway. So your uh, suggestions to you. Hojam, uh, do you know Hojam? Uh, uh, there are uh, some uh, new uh, uh, political. Uh, 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 do you know action? Uh, for example, if uh, Turkey try to uh, open uh, Ovakoi, uh, Ovakoi interest, uh, Ovakoi is a village between uh, um, Shirnak and uh, you know Fish Harbor. Uh, th th that's a big problem uh, between these two countries. If uh, Turkey had, uh, doesn't uh, let uh, this uh, new border opened with uh, uh, Iraq, I believe that uh, their relation back to the before referendum. Uh, and I optimistic that uh, after Nietzsche van Barzan is visiting to, to, to Turkey, uh, the relationship between them, uh, again, uh, it will be uh, going uh, good in the future. Thank you, Barzan. Now, in the last minutes, you, the electricity is <laughs> one opportunity. Uh, 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 sorry, Hocam. Uh, Apologize no for... No problem. <laughs> we wish best for all people uh, living in Kurdistan regional government and uh, I know you scholars uh, are not in uh, very good conditions. So in terms of, uh, of course, wage, economic crisis, pandemic. So I wish you best. We, we want to help you if we, it is possible to help you from Turkey. Please do not hesitate mm -hmm. to tell us. We'll send books and a lot of academic stuff if you need to help our <laughs> brothers living in Iraq and Kurdistan regional government. And I, as, a, as your former professor, I wish you Good luck. Hope you will become a good professor in Iraq, in Kurdistan regional government in the future. So thank you, Barzan. Uh, it was a thank nice. Thank you so talk. much. Thank you. Thank you, Hujam. See you later. Thank Take you. Care. See you. Bye bye. Thank you.